Hey everyone, Greg here. Today I'm going to share how to rank better within Bing. So I'm going to look at one of my pages that ranks in the middle of Bing on page one. So shortest MLB player. I wrote this article about five or six weeks ago and my page ranks right here. So it's in the middle of page one of Bing's results. So I'm going to open this page up, break down a couple things. First is the URL. So you want to make sure that it's descriptive enough that Bing knows that this is the primary subject of the page. So the shortest MLB player or players. This is the H1 tag. Um, H1 tag has more emphasis uh, for Bing to know that this is what the topic is about. Real, uh, real quick, you can highlight this if you're using Chrome or Edge or Firefox. You can see exactly that this is the H1 right here. Another thing I'm going to break down is the title tag. So the title's right here. So the shortest MLB players, who's the smallest to play baseball? TSR is um, my site, the stadium reviews. Description, I think it's important to put that primary keyword also in the description because that's gonna bold within Bing. Again, just more signals to Bing's engine that uh, URL, H1 tag, title tag, they all match. Um, another thing too that I think is important is this section right here. So what is the average height of a baseball player? I chose that as an H2, so I'll highlight that and share why. Because you should only have one H1 tag on a page, but you can have multiple H2s, and you can use the H2 tag as a question, and that's what I do. So you ask the question, and then you answer it. Effectively, what I'm trying to accomplish here is to tell Bing that my page with all of its content goes over this in a comprehensive way, because when you read about the shortest MLB players to have played the game, you're probably going to then look up, well, what's the average height? of a baseball player to put that in context. So I do that right here. Another thing that I do is I break out um, external links as well. So Bing, just like Google, they want to, they don't want you to be an island. So don't just write content and only link to yourself. Um, if there's like a .org or a .edu or a PDF file or anything else that has value that you think your audience can benefit from with a link, include that. One tip is uh, with Google and Bing is that you should try to link out to an HTTPS version of a site. It's just more secure. It's just more safety for your audience. Bing will, you know, appreciate that instead of going to a non-secure version of a page. A couple other things is that, uh, let me go back up to this image right here. What's important is that you want to save the image file as an actual name and then save the alt text as something descriptive. So you can see here that the alt text here is Dustin Pedroia small baseball player and you can see my uploads here is exactly that so it says uploads Dustin Madroya small baseball player don't get in the habit of just taking a picture and uploading that to your WordPress or any CMS site that you um, or CMS platform that you have for your website you want to make that descriptive so Bing's bot can know that this image is about this the alt text gives you more signals um, etc etc a couple other things too so I wrote a lot of content right here content length is something to consider when you're trying to rank better within Bing you want to cover a topic in such a comprehensive way that a user who comes here is going to get all the information that they need. Um, most of these images too are from Getty images, so I couldn't get them from Dreamtime. So that's okay because they're all linked back out to Getty. Uh, but ideally, if you could take your own pictures for this and to upload them, you'll get, it's more of like a reward because it's, it's unique content. Another thing that I could have done, which I, I didn't on this page, but I think it's worth noting is that having videos embedded on your page um, can certainly help it improve the user experience, which is something that Bing is looking for as well. It's not so much just time spent on page, but just the ability to, you come to, you do a Bing search, you click on a result, you come to a page, and then you don't need to basically do that pogo stick effect. So you don't go back out to Bing to now do a different search about that same topic. You got everything that you needed. A couple other things too, is that I will internally link out to this page from many different sections on my site. So here's an example where I link out to the oldest baseball stadium list. And I'm also going to link back out um, from the oldest baseball stadium list back to this page, just trying to give Bing more, um, some more context with, uh, with what I'm trying to do. Another thing is use Bing Webmaster Tools. So after you've written your content, you've done the title tags, alt tags, header tags, etc. Get in the habit of using the new feature within Bing Webmaster Tools to submit your URLs on a daily basis. You can do an API. Um, I don't know how to do that, so I'm not gonna go over that, but I think it's just super easy just to put this all into Bing, copy the box, and then just hit resubmit. Uh, you can, up, you can I think, do 100 
Yeah, you can do 100 at a time. So uh, if you have like a small enough site, that's fine. If you have a site that has up to, you know, 1,000 submissions you can do, you should probably figure out how to, you know, build that API connection uh, to your site. And then finally, my last point I want to make is that I don't believe the 33% market share that Bing claims because that uses Comscore data and that only looks at desktop. And then that also counts MSN clicks as a Bing query, because technically if you do a click on MSN, it gets funneled into Bing. And, you know, that's how Comscore is kind of given that 33% number. But what I look at here is G, um, GS stat counter. And this is just for the United States. So Google's 88%. So you can read that basically as Bing makes up about 12% of the remainder. And the reason why I can get to that number is that Bing powers obviously Bing itself, but then Yahoo, DuckDuckGo, Ecosia, MSN, it also, um, it also is the algorithm for AOL. So it's many more places than simply just Bing. So always consider that when you're trying to figure out how much market share you can be getting basically from optimizing for Bing. And then Bing's audience will obviously be better for a slightly older crowd, um, you know, and yeah, it's also like your industry too. So they do very well with travel. They do very well with um, auto. They do very well with um, healthcare, et cetera. So if you're in one of those industries, you can expect even more of that volume from Bing. So anyway, those are some tips to rank better. Basically just to highlight, write some great content, answer those questions that people are searching for on Bing on your content directly, optimize the images, um, put the keywords in the title tag and the, and the meta name description, write you know enough content and then submit the content daily uh, within Bing Webmaster Tools just to force Bing to look at that content and then reorganize it uh, for their search results.